Dr. Darian is back, and we are talking about biohacking. Yeah, this is a term that's becoming more and more popular. So just to help understand, the definition of biohacking is when you are, uh, the goal is to enhance performance, optimize health by using biology, technology, and a little bit of experimentation. Many don't realize, but it's actually an umbrella term. It can include changing our diet to enhance our performance. It can include taking certain supplements or nootropics, and even wearable devices, for example, is considered biohacking when you're tracking your steps and your health. But reason why it's becoming more and more popular or more and more in the headlines is because it also includes implanted devices, ARFIDs, radio frequency implantable devices essentially, or radio frequency identification devices. You can place them in your skin to monitor certain things like your health, your heart rate, your glucose, and many people, because they aren't often FDA approved, are doing it themselves in a form what? of a DIY centered essential hacking. And so I think it's so important to talk about because there are considerable risks doing it themselves. Yeah. So how is this all regulated? Yeah, it's very little regulation, as many people, again, are kind of experimenting. And because of that, that exposes you to risk. Obviously, implanting anything in your skin increases your risk of infection, but also reaction. Our bodies react to foreign bodies. That can increase low-level inflammation. And many don't understand the fact that low-level inflammation creates an opportunity for cancer development. And so there are all types of risk associated with this, which is why it's so important to know about these risks before you even start to have a discussion I gotta about understand it. how small these devices mm -hmm. are. They're like, actually incredibly tiny, and many people will use them for convenience, for example, to open up a door if you have a connected device, but often you can use it to sense certain things inside of your, your blood sugar, your heart rate, and track certain important things. It's fascinating, but unfortunately, there is little regulation, which is why it's so important to be and safe. In five seconds, where do you implant it again? It's you, people implant it anywhere, but most often in their hands, which is a very, very important structure that we should protect and avoid implanting foreign bodies. All right. <laughs>